Hello, I'm making a cooperative action RPG in Godot. It's set in a post-apocalyptic world where humanity has fallen and become mindless, rage-filled ghouls. Animals now inhabit the world. My current focus is finishing the first chapter of my game, which should look something like this when done. Last time, I finished up the first six areas, which act as a combat tutorial, and put a build up for you guys to check out. I got some very useful feedback, with some saying it was too easy and others too hard, which I'm taking to mean the difficulty is probably about right. However, I really don't want to frustrate new players, so I made some balance tweaks to help ease the player in. I buffed your punch to make the first area before you get a sword less challenging. Previously, you could not block or roll until your attack animation had finished. I tweaked this to allow the attack recovery animation to be skipped on a block or roll input, which both makes you more powerful and makes the controls feel more responsive. I replaced the bandits on the final area with easier ghouls, but don't worry, we'll be finding a new home for them soon. Finally, I added some hints to the respawn screen, just in case the player missed an important piece of dialogue. I hope these tweaks will help ease the player in to what I want to be a difficult, but not frustrating experience. Before adding anything new, I found myself wasting time running through the first few areas of my game each time I wanted to get to the end, so I added an in-game command line, which can be opened by pressing the back tick key. You can enter commands to change location and give yourself a sword. I'll leave this enabled in future development builds I put up, in case anyone wants to have a play or is getting sick of the opening areas of my game. I then drew the next location, which has the first campsite which will function as a checkpoint, and branches into a bandit camp and a cave. You will have to clear the bandit camp and find a lantern to access the cave, which will mark the start of chapter 2. Terence will be waiting for you, and give you a health potion when spoken to. I added a very simple UI element, letting you know how many potions you have, as I want you to be able to find more flasks later in the game. Consuming the potion plays an animation, and gives you a short burst of health regeneration. With two players, you can also use it on a fallen player to revive them. Next up, the campsite functionality. It needs to do a few things. Replenish your health and health potion. Respawn enemies. Respawn dead players in co-op. Allow leveling up. Save the game. And last, but certainly not least, it needs to look pretty. Healing up is nice and easy. I just call a stat reset function on each player's stats. To respawn enemies, I have a progress script which keeps track of which enemies have been killed, and simply set all the values back to true. When enemies are loaded in, they delete themselves if this value is false. Before the first campsite, if you die, Terence will drag you back to the start of the area to respawn. Once the first campsite has been reached, it will be a little less handholdy, and you will respawn at the campsite instead of the area where you died. In two-player, if you rest at the campsite with one player dead, I also show the dragging animation and have the player respawn. To make it look pretty, I drew a looping frame by frame fire animation for the campfire and set up some simple lighting. I attached a simple radial light and made it flicker by setting its alpha value from some purlin noise. Finally, I added a dark canvas modulate layer to my scene to make it nighttime, and we have a nice cozy campsite set up. On leveling up, I want players to be able to put a skill point into one of a few different attributes to allow for varied builds and playstyles. I've decided on three different attributes for now, Strength, Dexterity and Defense. Strength increases your maximum health and blunt damage dealt. Dexterity increases your maximum stamina and sharp damage dealt. And Defense increases your maximum poise and equipment carry capacity. Weapons in my game have both a blunt and sharp damage value. For example, a hammer would have high blunt damage compared to a dagger, which would have high sharp damage. This should allow players to choose between a strength-based build, where the character would be tanky and hit hard with slow blunt weapons, or a dexterity-based build, where the character is fragile but agile, and more proficient with sharp weapons. Defence is currently a bit useless, but will allow the player to equip heavier armour and weapons further down the line. I set up some simple UI explaining to the player what each attribute does, and allowing them to level up if they have enough experience. Actually saving the game is a feature I'm going to leave for future me. With the campsite done, I drew a couple new areas for the bandit camp, with lots of wooden spikes and a few huts. 
I haven't quite finished the camp yet. I want to add an area which is the interior of a hut through here, where you will fight the first mini-boss of the game and find the lantern, and an unlockable shortcut across these spikes, so the player can skip past the bandits straight to the mini-boss if they die during the boss fight and respawn at the camp. I've put a new build up on itch if anyone wants to have a play, link in the description. All the feedback so far has been extremely useful, I really appreciate it. I'm getting very close to completing the first chapter. I just need a mini boss, a shortcut and a sprinkle of polish, so consider sticking around. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.